Hi, my name is Sartak and I'm going to speak about the Feynman Technique. The technique in which you talk about a complicated su subject in a simple manner is called the Feynman Technique. For example, we talk about the Earth as a big ball and half of us are sticking upside down and, re uh, uh, and revolving around a big ball of hot gas and fire and nuclear fire. Okay, and why are you describing it this way? So that it's easy to understand. For whom? For a small person, a, a person who doesn't know, uh, doesn't have much knowledge or anything. Okay, and why are you using the word ball and gas? Because those are like the first words you learn when you're small. Okay, and why do you like this technique? Because um, it's fun and easy to understand. Okay, and why is it fun? Because um, you can use simple um, simple words instead of using big complicated words and getting confused. Okay, and where have you applied Feynman technique? Um, in my textbook. Okay. My science textbook. Can you give an example? Um, because we talked about photosynthesis and how um the chlorophyll traps sunlight. Okay, and how do you talk about it? Um, we can talk about uh, the plant as a chef and um, uh, makes a machine which traps sunlight and the machine is green in color and called chlorophyll. And what do you like about Feynman? Um, he's very funny and uh, makes a lot of pranks. What did you learn from Feynman? You read a few of his speeches, right? Yeah, there's a difference between knowing something Knowing the name of something or knowing that thing. Okay. Can you explain what you just said? Um, there's a difference between knowing the name of an object and knowing what it does. Usually we learn smaller words when they're small. So um, if you use the smaller words to explain, they'll understand better.